Hello, welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about how to make an advanced costume for your character. This will override the default character such as this. So, what you want to do is look up costume. We can actually look at some of the examples made here such as the Starhopper costume. Maybe this kit before we actually get into using it. Now if you come here, let's move this up a little bit because I think it's... Okay, I guess it doesn't require it to be visible. Okay, there. So as you can see, that's how it works. We can... So, that's one of the things that's been created with this kit. So let's go over how we would use the kit. So, first you want to go and grab the... Want to play a costume example from Premium Content by Riff Raff. So once you have that in here, this is what you will see. So, click play. By default, we have this. Now, let's go over how we would make it custom and how to make our own. So, what we want to do is go here and go to dependencies. Here we have the costume geo in the client context. Okay. Now that we have this dragged in, now let's make it our own. So, as you can see here, this is all the different sockets. You shouldn't mess around with this, as it can fix stuff at times. So instead, you can just leave this stuff in one of these sockets if you have to. So, I'm going to make my own costume, and I'll be back once I do. Okay, hello, I'm back. So, as you can see, I finished my costume. It's nothing too advanced, it's just the cube, but... That's so how I did it. So, as you can see, it attaches to the left hip socket. And it's here. And then when you're done, you would do click, right click, and click update template from this on the costume geo underscore client context folder. And then remove it. When you come back in, you see that you now are the costume that you made. So, one last thing you might want to do, if you do want to apply to a person join, would be to do as follows. Okay, so step one you want to do is you want to click this checkbox here, clicking apply to all players and join. Next, you want to go into the player costume script service script, and once you're in here, you want to go to this. I mean, sorry, this. So you copy this, and then you paste this onto line six. So line six should now be local tracker parent equals road dot spawn asset parentheses costume tracker parent now if we save the script and exit here make sure they have this box checked and click play we now have our nice costume equipped us on zoin and this can also be more advanced too if you do decide to attach to old sockets let's look at some other examples of good ones that were made we have this one by shallow the shadowy figure costume Let's drag this in and let's see how well it works. Come on to here and it works pretty nicely. Right? One more thing that you may want to take into account while you're working with your costume is let me drag my costume to your kind of context back in. Is that for your objects that are in the costume? You may also want to make sure that you disable chemicalism. It can cause weird camera glitches at times, so then we update the template when you're done with that. You can see it works nicely. Thank you for watching. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Once again, you can enter the reindeer mount giveaway by leaving a like on this video and leaving a comment with your Cory's name, or reposting or retweeting my tweet on Twitter with your Cory's name, or joining the giveaway in our Discord. So, once again, you can enter one of those, and there's three winners, one from each of those categories. It's free to enter, so consider entering. Have a good day.